what if every empire was united in 867? Well, that's what we're going to be checking out today. So it should be, as you can see, exactly the same as the empire map. And we're basically going to skip through every couple of years. And I'm going to stop and have a little chat to talk about what's been going on. So we've got Charles the Board, Frank here, and we've got Kaiser Ludwig. All the way down to all the way down here, when we've got like Parler, Mongolia. So in the comments below, I'd love to hear what you guys think of who is going to be the strongest and who will last the longest. I think currently, Russia got a 5k. Tibet is looking really strong with 11k. Yeah, I think overall, I'm going to have to say, Tibet is the strongest, sold like manpower wise, by a lot. So I'll come back maybe the year 900, maybe a bit sooner. I will check out what's been going on. I just wanted to quickly say, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe. I do loads of videos about CK3 and CK3 mods. So if you like that, be sure to subscribe, stick around. So it's been about 10 to 15 years. And obviously this is what we started with. Now this is the world now. So I'm going to say, I think down here they have lost the most. A couple of independence wars. If you just go to the title and then click title history, you can see. They in 875. Now... Poland has basically taken over completely of the Southern Baltic Empire. And they won that by populist revolt. South Baltic Empire may be the first to fall. Russia still doing really good. Lost a uh, tiny bit of land down here. And obviously, as you can see, Hungary has popped up. But if you go to title history, sorry, this happened 874. He created them, become independent from this from Kapathira. Now, Kapathira is not looking good at all. Hungary basically took all their power. Now, Mongolia's had a little bit of a split, but they are losing some more wars. So I'm not sure how they're going to come out. Tibet lost tiny little independence wars here and here. For the most part, they're doing okay. Now, the Safrid Empire is probably one of the strongest. You've obviously got the Byzantines, but yeah, you can see they're not doing too good. We got this guy making claims. So they're falling quite heavy. Obviously, you got Germania. Losing wars is left, right, and center. They're not winning a single one. Scandinavia lost a couple of uh duchies, it seems. But overall, they've got 8,000 men. They're still doing really good. So that's what we're up to now. At this point, probably these two down there doing the best. As you can see. Obviously, Britannia is still completely together. You got Umayyad and the Frankia are still doing really well. Siberia and these lot up here hasn't really been touched. So, say we come back 10, 20 years. Um, just see how it's turned out. I'm interested to see what you guys think would win as well. So, as we're just about to go into the year 900, this is what the map looks like. Now, Tibet lost quite a few independence wars, changing rulers. Mongolia, quite a lot of populist uprisings, independence factions. You can see they're quite split up now, not looking too good. The UK done mostly okay so far, but now they are having the Northmen uprising, which they may lose. So that's going to give them, what, this duchy here. So it seems like the Northmen are going to get that. That's be the first loss for Britannia. Now, what I found quite interesting is, as you can see, the Umayyad Empire... They took over the Duchy of Aquitaine. Now, after they got Aquitaine from Francia, they got really brave and started a holy war on the Tolnid Empire. Now, you know, much bigger, much more powerful. They went for this little bit here. Obviously got absolutely trumped. Their leader got captured. And as you can imagine, this guy... And he died after being tortured. So, yeah. He got captured and got absolutely tortured to death. Now, this empire here... Basically gone. But I think the one doing the worst right now... Look at this guy. Look how he's fallen. All of that are just that. Southern Baltic Empire is still there. But although they're, you know, ruled by a four-year-old. And... Finland has appeared. This absolute Chad. This peasant leader who's also a giant. Yep. Or an absolute legend. Look at the size on him. You just don't mess with someone like that. Look at this. Little man. 
absolute beast. So now he runs Finland. Now what I found was Italia, where all these Tranquil is, Italia had all of that. Now the Kingdom of Italy split off. Now we've got East Tranquil, we've got, still got Germania. Or Germania, I'm not sure, I might mispronounce some of these, if I do I am sorry. So Parla and all that down here is still doing pretty good, all these still intact. There is a current war going on. Siberia defending against this guy. So this guy is going for his claim and he seems to be winning. So it might be a big split of Siberia by the time we next come back. Seems to be only Volga Ural that hasn't been affected yet. And they are boring. But claims, but that seems to be like internal stuff. Byzantine Empire still doing pretty well. I mean, you got Bulgaria here has gone independent. I'm not sure if they got a truce or what, but they'll probably have no issues getting that back. There's a massive war going on between the Byzantine Empire and the Safford Empire. So what's going on is the Safford Empire is going for a holy war of this. So these two are going to war and I think it's currently on zero percent. Oh, okay, yeah. So the Safford Empire seems to be taking them on with ease, to be honest getting absolutely destroyed so that's where they are now britannia still be in britannia so say i come back in a few years and we'll update see how things are going on oh no yep europe has turned into absolute chaos but did you expect any less it's been just over 50 years since we last checked up now volga ural was probably one of the most consistent ones but you know, you can see how that's gone. They're not doing the worst, I suppose, but not the best. Russia. They gotta give it to Russia, Persian Empire. Doing the most consistent. Now obviously last time we checked, the British were on a like a northern conquest for this bit beer. Did defend that. And then Scandinavia was like, oh, actually, take some of northern Scotland. And then eventually this guy somehow got independence and he's there with 400 troops. So I don't see him lasting long. He's not even allied to Scandinavia. They're probably going to go for him himself. Frank here doing pretty well. They lost Anis or Anis over here. But other than that, they seem to have gained everywhere else down here. Byzantine Empire still holding together. They've got 15,000 troops. Oh, wow. Uh-oh, Russia. Look. 26,000. I don't think anyone even comes close. Not at all. Like, well, Scandinavia got 9,000. Hungary is... Is it guy even, he's still there? They're still an emperor, apparently, with them two land with 500 troops. Obviously, Southern Baltic Empire still exists. Siberia's doing pretty well. Really, they've only lost this. So this guy's came over here, looks like, and taken this. So he has more troops than all of Siberia. Now, down in Africa, Guinea's doing really well. They've expanded quite a fair bit, as you can see, taking all up up here. Taking all of Hauserland, it looks like. Now, what was once basically Germany? They've still got quite a bit of land. But then this new little, well, this new kingdom, Marburg. It's literally taken all of central Germany, I suppose. And they're much more powerful. So they're probably going to be there for a while. And I hope not because this color, color is absolutely horrible. I prefer if that just wasn't in my face. Overall, though, I'm quite surprised. Surprised with Russia anyway. I really expected Scandinavia to like go on a mad expansion. Obviously, they lost quite a lot to Finland. They did take that back. For Russia, it's 26,000. Right, so then I do them as well. And they're quite big. So. Right now... Got to give it to the Russian Empire. Absolutely dominating. So currently it's the 1st of January, 1000 AD. Look how nice this used to look. Europe is, as you'd expect, still an absolute mess. Now, just not long ago, Norway did appear. But Norway seems to have just disappeared straight away again. Scandinavia seems to have taken back quite a lot of their land. Now, they have come and taken this. 
Britannia still hasn't taken over North Scotland. It's just independent on their own, which is fair enough. Because they are fairly powerful for just a small little nation. Volga Ural. Taken back everything they've lost. Except from this little... Bits from Siberia. And they've come all the way down to almost connecting with the Byzantine Empire. And they're pretty much insanely powerful. I think they've... Okay, so not the most powerful empire. But they're doing extremely well as Russia started to collapse. Loads a bunch of independence around here. Losing a lot of land from the north. Now, Mongolia, they have done extremely well getting their land back from Siberia. They've come quite well to go to the west. Still tiny bits up here, but they're 20,000 troops. They're definitely the most powerful on the map right now. All of Europe still Catholic. It's mostly what you'd expect. A lot of, like, a lot of different cultures currently going on down here. As you can see, this empire is in absolute shambles right now. They're losing one more, winning one, not doing perfect. I mean, somehow this guy still gets to be called an emperor. I mean, come on. Surely that just doesn't count. I think the Southern Baltic Empire is still somewhere. There, look, that's all he's got as well. you got to say... Well, I think this empire doesn't exist anymore. So that seemed to have been the first one to fully fall. I gotta say... Volga Ural doing the best easily, I think. But then again... Might be this one. Tataria. They have done quite a lot of expansion. As where this empire was absolutely dissolved. Or well, it's still there. But... Quite weak. I genuinely thought the Byzantine Empire would have fallen apart by now because they were having a lot of revolts earlier on. But they've done a really good job holding everything together, defending holy wars, and the Arabian Empire. I mean, it seems like they're going for that Ottoman Empire sort of style, you know? Go for all the borders, get a bit of a spread going on up here. I like what they're doing. I like to see how far they go. I mean, it's not turning into as much as a mess as I would have expected. You can go Italy now, being bigger than Italia. Well, then again, Italia's got a bit up here. But Italy's more stronger. France have almost taken the entire east border. Considering they were losing land, they lost Aquitaine. It wasn't that, it was this bit. They lost, like, Aquitaine here from Amelia. For them to now come back and take that, they've done really well. Byzantines, no allies. Hungary, because Hungary's done well and keeping what they got. You know, they started out not existing. Ooh, okay, so they're currently beating Volga Ural for Yuzen right now. And it seems like they're going to win that, so they look like they're going to start pushing. So for now, I suppose, I'll see you in like another 50 years. See how it's turning out. So I let it run 50 more years. And to be fair, I don't think too much has changed. Like, Byzantine Empire other than, well, actually, Scandinavia has done really well Volga Ural has done pretty well as well we got Damascusid which has just replaced the I think it was the Arabian Empire obviously France is having its revolts you know or whatever's going on there's always something going on in there we got Germania which has taken over quite a bottle oh finally finally gone so I can stop hurting my eyes with that horrible horrible bright green colour what's going on over here then Ooh, that's an interesting one. So it seems... This guy. So somehow this guy is winning a war with the help of Volga Ural as his claim for Scandinavia. Down here, they've done pretty well. They've just kind of kept what they had. Guinea's done decent. Yeah, it seems... The original empire that was here has just been beaten and beaten from both sides. Don't seem to stand any chance. Seems like France might actually get it all. Although, yeah, they've got a lot of probably fairly strong allies. But then they've got Germania, who's the, that's one of the vassals and another vassal. But I don't know how that's going to turn out now. Scandinavia have 3,400 troops. I'm assuming they're in a lot of wars, isn't they? 
currently right now. What's this? So now just a kingdom. Well, they've got quite big. I suppose it's where Russia was. They've all split up. Does Russia even exist anymore? No. So Russia does not exist. Seems to have split between these two mainly, or these three. Four kingdoms, I assume. Yeah. And then Volga you are is probably going to start clearing them up. Like they have with the Khazaria. Mongolia hasn't expanded. What I think I'm going to do is leave it like, say, another 100 or so years, and I'll come back to wrap up the video. So, finally, it's 1100 AD. We've gone from that all the way to that. I gotta say, I'm quite surprised. How well Volga Ural did at one point, but they've just not been left with loads compared. Siberia has done quite well. Not long ago, they did have all of this as well. They were spreading all the way down. Mongolia has pretty much stayed the same, most part, really. Tibet came back after disappearing for a few hundred years. Now, Damascus said, seems to have lost all of this to another ruler. They've gone independent. Jerusalem has gone independent. And that's under Catholic control, so see how that goes. I mean, Scandinavia, it's a bit of a mess, but considering they did lose loads of land to Finland at one point, they have done quite well. You know, Britannia, they've just lost this to the French, and they've lost a bit here to Scandinavia. I don't think I've seen them once go and conquer anything. They just kind of stayed on their little island. It's not very British, is it? Now, Germania is still around from the start. I mean, they ended up with a fairly similar amount of land. Obviously, these smaller bits up around here. But it got more wider. Now, the Southern Baltic Empire, I think it still exists here. With just this tiny bit of land and barely any troops. With... Well, Russia was really big at one point, if you remember. But that's just absolute mess, all of this. Byzantine Empire... Gotta say, they've like lost a tiny bit of land, but they've done really well. This is almost identical for the most part. And this bit over here. Now, these two disappeared. Absolutely gone into hundreds of little things. Does so this one still exist? Yeah, with a couple of land, not much. The Isfahan, yeah. They've stayed fairly consistent. I mean, they've got a bit more land, it seems. They've gone more north. Lost a bit here and here. But overall, they've done well. These pretty much expanded a little bit. Now, Africa fell really early. This one, anyway. The biggest one in Africa seemed to have fell really quick. Now, Guinea basically lost everything. Does Mali still exist? No. So that has gone. That was there for a while, but it seems Ghana has taken over most of what was his land. So I was going to say... Overall, who do you think done the best? I mean, another finish. In terms of land, get out, like in terms of going out and getting land at this point, from what I'm looking at, I might have to say France. I mean, for a while, it really was Volga Ural up here, but they lost loads. Uh, Damascus had, did have quite a lot of land at one point. They were extending quite far up here and up around here, but they lost all that. So yeah, I think at the end, obviously Russia already powerful earlier, but at the end, I think God give it to the French, right? Anyway, I just wanted to say a massive thank you if you watched all the way. I do really appreciate that. Um, I'm thinking about doing like a um, smaller series compared to this. This was just like an all, obviously, empire one. But I was planning on bring back like empires that don't exist in the game or ones are from the future and put them in the game and see how they turn out anyway. But... Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.